Welcome to DriveWise Cars, my name is Stephen and this is our beautiful 2014 Mini Cooper three-door hatchback finished in deep blue metallic with a white roof, white mirror caps and white bonnet stripes. The mileage on this one is 30,260. It's had in total three owners from new, the last one being Joseph who bought it from ourselves and it comes with the benefit and reassurance of a fully documented mini service history. The specification includes Chili Pack, 17 inch conical spoke alloy wheels, chrome line exterior trim pack, chrome line interior trim pack, full satellite grey lounge leather upholstery, front centre armrest, visual boost radio system, heated front seats, and the mini head up display system. So, without further ado, let's have a closer look, shall we? So, we start off at the front and look closely at the radiator grill and the air intake vent underneath the front number plate there. We can see that they're nice and shiny and bright, but that's part of the chrome line exterior trim pack. And whilst we're looking at that number plate, the cherished number is also included in the sale of the car. So we'll carry on now down the near side or passenger side. Just pause to admire the first of those beautiful alloy wheels. And then we'll slowly make our way down to the rear of the car and again another one of those beautiful 17 inch conical spoke alloys. And if I just pause a moment here so we can appreciate those beautiful clean lines. And then we'll come round to the back and again if I could just point out to you the rear boot handle that's part of the chrome line exterior pack as well, as that's all nice and shiny and bright. And then we'll come down to the off side or the driver's side. And again, we'll just take a moment to pause so we can appreciate those beautiful clean lines as well. And another one of those gorgeous alloy wheels. I do apologize because there's one item I forgot to mention that this also has some protection glass. So if you look at the driver's door uh, window and then look at the rear passenger window, you can see the rear passenger is darker than the front. Well, that's part of the sun protection glass pack. So we'll carry on now and come down to the front, exactly where we started from. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? That's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside. So we'll just pop the driver's door open. We'll check out the door card, make sure there's no damage there. And there most certainly is not. It is beautiful. So on the driver's armrest, we've got switches there for the electric windows, a toggle switch for the electric door mirrors. And panning over to the interior, we can see that gorgeous satellite gray lounge leather upholstery on front sport seats. The front centre armrest is nestled in between the two front seats. And I love these seats because you've also got leg support too. So this will pull out, push back in. The driver's seat is height adjustable using that lever there. And there's also a sumptuous leather three spoke multifunction steering wheel too. And if I park myself inside, oh, that's comfortable. We'll have a closer look. So on the left of the steering wheel, we've got cruise control. Then over to the far right, we've got buttons here to adjust the volume of the radio and you can change the station of the radio too. Once you've paired your telephone up to the Bluetooth system and you receive an incoming call, you need to do press that little telephone button and then you can chat away merrily. Sitting just over the steering wheel, we've got the speedometer. And there's the mileage for you. Hang on before it disappears. There we go. 30,260. Then on the left hand side, We've also got the rev counter. Now at this point I'll just start the engine up and then I can show you everything lit up. Better. There we go. Now above the speedometer we can see it's just popped itself up. Fold that down. This is the mini head up display system. There we go. So when you're driving along, the speedometer appears in there. 
and it really is very, very useful. So we'll come over to the centre of the dashboard where the visual boost radio system is and we'll go through that with you. So we'll start off with the radio, so just click on radio and you can see there's FM, AM and DAB capability. That's the icon you would choose to pair your telephone up. And if we carry on, my favourite part is this, the vehicle information section. Because we're going to vehicle status, there's a tyre pressure monitoring system and we can see all four tyres are green, which is exactly what we want to see. If there was any issue with the tyres or in terms of pressure or punctures, you get a warning on the dashboard which would encourage you to visit this particular section of the visual boost radio and then you can take any remedial action that's required to make sure that all the tyres are safe for you. If we come down another couple of sections we've got service requirements so we can see we've got service history we'll go all the way back to the beginning so the first service was done at 6330 miles in 2016 and then we've got one in 18, 19, 20 21 and at that service it had a brake fluid and a vehicle inspection so then we go back up to the screen we were just looking at so we've got a warning triangle against engine oil and vehicle check which means it's due an engine oil service and a vehicle check which we would have done for the new owner along with a brand new MOT then looking underneath the visual booth radio system We've got dials there, the one on the left is the temperature gauge for the passenger, one on the right for the driver and the big wheel in the middle is for the fan speed or you can choose to select automatic. With a row of switches or buttons should I say on underneath those. So we've got heated passenger seat with three different settings, um, full maximum defrost for those cold winter mornings, heated rear window, air conditioning maximum air conditioning and a lovely heated driver's seat too. Then on the bottom row that's the manual switch for the head-up display system if you didn't want it activated you can just turn it away and then we've got the master switch here to switch the engine on and off. Right underneath there there's also a USB and an auxiliary port. We've got twin cup holders, a six-speed manual transmission, we've got the option of changing the gearbox ratio so it can be in sport or comfort and then this is everything to do with the visual boost radio system Let's just switch the radio off so that's the view from the driver's seat now behind the driver to gain access to the rear all you need to do put your hand to the back of the driver's seat there is a little louver pull that forward the seat will shoot forward and just look at those rear seats aren't they pristine absolutely gorgeous and they are as comfortable as they look so let's carry on so we'll come round to the rear of the car and to gain access to the boot what we need to do just press the button underneath the mini badge and lift and there we go a cavernous load space area now this has the flat load boot floor system as i call the secret compartment that's a nice solid panel this folds up give you more versatility in terms of storage space or you can have it down it will lift out altogether if you want to put it in the garage and there's also a 60 40 split rear seat arrangement and either of those fold down independently of each other so we'll continue our inspection as we come down the passenger side again and we'll check out that passenger door card it's gorgeous or gorgeous as is the front passenger seat that too has got leg support and it is also height adjustable and again just like the driver's side if you want to put your hand over the back of the seat pull it forwards your passengers can gain access to the rear on this side as well so to summarize well here we've got a 2014 which would be on a 64 plate ordinarily. Mini Cooper, three door hatchback, finished in deep blue metallic with a white roof and white mirror caps. The mileage is just 30,260. It's had three owners from new. 
It's got a fully documented mini service history, a private number plate as well, and it comes along with satellite grey lounge leather upholstery, heated front seats, visual boost radio, front centre armrest, and mini head up display system. And it sits on some very attractive 17 inch conical spoke alloy wheels. Now, if you have a part exchange and you're thinking, hey, I love that car, Stephen, it looks beautiful but I wonder what mine's worth. Well, give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. My name's Stephen, and I look forward to speaking to you very soon.